Hallelujah. Can you appreciate our dad in the house? Give them a hand of praise in the house. So thank you so much. You are blessed. We bless the Lord for you to be here. We bless our daddy, our archbishop in absentia. We appreciate all the pastors, Pastor Nancy, Pastor JD, Pastor Kamau, who are amazing people, Pastor Esther, even Pastor Faith, who is not around. So I want just to encourage you, if you have a testimony, usikali a testimony yako. Your testimony is an encouragement to someone, to me and to you. There's a lady before I introduce, uh, ameogopa kusema. A kid, a memeza 20 bob. A very young kid. Sijua tako na miezi yama ni mwaka. 20 bob. Alivofika, the kid was dying. Alivotaja tu, God of Prophet William. Ilikuwa emesha fika hapa. Macho ya metan. Kitu ikamwambia, kwa nini usiingize tu kidole? And the kid came back. That was a big testimony. Ameshea na mimi but amesema. Angoje kwanza, likuwa nono mtoto, amechomeka mara kwanza. Saia memeza 20 bob. Hata siafadhali ingekua dala. 20 ni mingi. But it is a testimony. So viewers all over the world, we appreciate you. We are glad you, for you to join us. You have a testimony from this reign of liberty. Please give us an SMS. Give us a call. Even our tap. Our dad is always here to provide, to be with you. Thank you so much for joining us. And may God will bless you. So over to church. Madam, tell us your name, where you come from, and the nature of your testimony. Praise God, church. <clears throat> Praise God again. My name is Rosemary. I come from Mutange. Um, my testimony goes this way. Last night, I prayed, and when I went to sleep, uh, before I slept, I, I wanted to read a bit, so I, on, as I was reading, somehow, I think I fall asleep. So when I woke up, my limbs were numb. Felt they were not my limbs. Again, I prayed and went to sleep. Around one, two there. Again, I woke up. And this time round, um, I had no, I could not swallow anything. My, my mouth was so dry. My lips were, it was like not myself. My limbs were again numb and even the legs. I wanted to call prophet. But something told me I pray. So I picked some courage and prayed. So one thing I want to say, it's because of this altar that I was able to pray even alone. I'm sure if it was not the whatever I've learned here, I would not have been able to pray myself. But I also want to tell the devil he's defeated. I think from what we have seen here, I'm delivered. And whatever it was last night, it, I must tell the devil he's down on my feet. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Can you celebrate Jesus for that divine healing? Celebrate Jesus once more. Thank you so much, Mama, for your testimony. And that healing is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. My dear, tell us your name, where you come from, and the nature of your testimony. Praise the Lord, Church. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Namshukuru mwenyezi mungu. Kwa wema na fadhili zake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Majina na ito Adorkas. Niko mali hapa kushundia ni kuwajiri ya danda yangu ambaye aliingia katika hii kanisa kizazi chake kikiwa kimefungwa bwana yesu asifiwe mm -hmm. but the man of god give him a prophecy na kamwambia you shall conceive bwana yesu asifiwe mm -hmm. aliweza kubeba mimba na alipopata mimba shetani hakubaki nyuma aliendelea kumwandama bwana yesu kidogo. asifiwe Ngoja kidogo your sister alikuwa hazi conceive for how long Okay, she was not married. Alipo joina hapa kwa meoleka. Okay, so after kujoina kaolewa? Yes. Mm -hmm. Lakini vile tu alipo ingia hapa, mtumishu wa mungu wakamuambia kizazi chako kimefungwa. Mwana yesu asifiwe. Akaoleka, akaenda for a moment, the man of God give him a prophecy. Na kamuambia, lazima utapata mtoto. Mwana yesu asifiwe. Banda ya kupata mimba, Shetani akubaki nyuma akamwandama in 5 months akalazwa hospitali pale Jocham and she was with the fever ones. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise the Lord. Amen. Lakini Mungu amempigania. Mungu ame, mtumishi wa Mungu amesimama pamoja naye 
Now on that day, my sister was blessed with a baby. Bona Yesu asifiwe. And I have a reason of giving God all the glory. Amen. I have a reason of giving God all the honor. Bona Yesu asifiwe. Tubarikiwe sisi wote. Na tujue tuko mali ambapo panahuru. Tubarikiwe. Amen. Can you celebrate Jesus for that wonderful testimony? Ata wewe nde ubarikiwe na double portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Mami, tell us the name. Where you come from on the nature of your testimony. Bonesa Sifiwe. Amen. Mi naitwa Stella Karegi, si mgeni malapa. Nilikuwa nikija Wednesday. Kwa wale wasio nikumbuka ni yule aliyombewa mimba, sister yake mkubwa akapokea yeye. Kwa wale wasio nikumbuka. Okay, nilikuja malapa nilikuwa sina kazi. Hakika mtumishi aliniombea mali hapa. Nilitoa tithe kidogo ya zile pesa nilikuwa nazo. Lakini nashukuru Mungu amesimama. Nimeendelea hata sasa hivi nafikiria kufungua kwingine. Si kwa sababu ni, ni kwa sababu si kwa Amen. sababu niko na pesa, lakini kupitia madhabahu nimeona Mungu. Madam for how long umekuwa hauna kazi ama huna biashara? Okay, nilikuwa sehemu nyingine pale town kukabunjwa. Nilikuwa nikakuja nyumbani so nilikuwa stranded kuanzisha sehemu nyingine. So your business lady Ya? Yeah. Unafanya biashara? Ya. Yeah. Okay. Nashukuru Mungu sai. Amen. Mbarikiwe. Amen. Can we celebrate Jesus? Celebrate Jesus for that wonderful testimony. Hata wewe unaenda kufungua yako in the mighty name of Jesus. You are a living testimony. Dad usema mtoto akikanyaga kwa hii madhabao lazima atestify. Mimi I am a testimony. Si hata mkiniona ni testimony. I, I want to testify on behalf of my friend from Nairobi. These two ladies, I invited them to Likutana kwa a certain page. And this page is a prophet's brother, kind of, from Uganda, Prophet Kakande. So this lady, nili wa text, nikawambia, because Uganda, you know, it is too much. Kuenda, I have an experience. Nika text hapo because they don't allow another person to text inside another man of God. So I just said, we have another 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 squan in, Mom, in Mombasa. So I told the ladies to come. So they came, I host them. There were two ladies. And I remember very well before we nini the church walikuwa meka somewhere here and dad talked to the two of them. Actually they were very doubtful but one akamwambia naona uki Mama kwa likufa, then that's all mekuwa na shida. These two ladies wamekuwa hawana kazi for so many years. So likuwa ende uku. But the moment those ladies walikanyaga hapa from Nairobi, to me their testimony, that they are subscribers, they always share, because wanasema indeed Mombasa there's God, and there's another scorn. Haijalishi utatumia SGR, alitumia to only 1,000, alikopa batsai, Promotion after promotion. Promotion after promotion. I just thank, thank the Lord. Because on Niambia Karen, whatever you do, we are behind you. Sisi ni wale watu chini ya maji. But they support the ministry through me. But I bless the Lord. So you are there. Don't be discouraged. God is faithful.